everyone, today we are continuing our journey through the central parts of Sri Lanka. We are so excited for today's adventure as we are taking the famous train ride from Kandy to Ella. It was voted as one of the most beautiful train rides in the world, which we will show you today when we take you along. During this seven hour train ride, you have amazing views of Sri Lanka's tea plantations. We decided to break up the train ride in two parts by spending two nights in Nuvara Elia. This mountain town is famous for its tea plantations and is also known as Little England thanks to its colonial buildings and cooler climate. Another day in Sri Lanka, another Sri Lankan Korean rice. <laughs> so here we got the green bees, ma uh, beans made in coconut, the dal, the lentil curry that we know. This is a cabbage one, also made in curry. And these are like leaves made with fresh coconut. You can see the white. And we're still awaiting some chicken curry. It's on the way. Moritz couldn't wait. He's busy. Yeah? I also want to dig in, but I want to take a picture with the chicken. <laughs> about 1000 employees, 600 of them collect tea leaves, tea pluckers, only ladies, okay. oh. tea factory traditional and they are plucking properly. Oh, okay. One oh. day, one lady should pluck 18 kilograms, wow. she have 8 hours, about 200 men clean tea garden, they also do hard work, mm. fertilizing, pruning, minute get crushed. After crushed tea leaves, we collect big trolleys, we manually put into that, that is cutting machine, tea leaves get more cutting. White tea, only the tiny buds, no machinery process, only sun dry, natural decaffeinated tea it has more antioxidant than green tea. So white tea good for skin problems, heart diseases, very rare, very expensive. Okay. Here we produce only black tea. After oxidation, those tea leaves we get again dry. Leaves become the black color. Stem we never use. So we need separate. We have machine. That brown color big machine is color separate. They're super pretty, eh? <laughs> you look like an advertisement for tea. Yeah, let's try it.
How is it? It's nice tea. A lot of, lot of tea first myself. Yeah. Is it a black one? Yes. Try it. I will try. The one that uh, Sri Lankans typically drink with yes. some milk and sugar. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. from the Ramboda waterfalls here in Nuvara Elia. Uh, super beautiful, a little intense, it's getting warm. Well, it's, it's quite a nice uh, little trip. It takes yeah. like 20 minutes to get up here and it's all with these steps as you can see. It's like steps yeah. and just like paved way. So it's like technically like not really demanding, but some of the steps are quite huge and mm -hmm. there's like rocks in between yeah. and also in front of the waterfall. But it's actually super easy to get to. And so beautiful, you can take a little bit of a rest there, take some drinks with you, even snacks, yeah. and dip your water, uh, dip your toes in the water. <laughs> some people are like sunbathing there, yeah. and just uh, indeed, mm -hmm. everything is surrounded with the water. So yeah, um, the entrance fee is 200, which is super nice actually. For the both of us, eh? It was for two for person, yeah. yeah. So 100 for, per person for a foreigner, indeed. Indeed. And you have a lot of uh, local people who come here. We saw like yeah. so many. And of course, they all want to have selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a point you, you can go to mm. when you're in this region and like exploring the tea, the tea plantages, uh, factories. Like yeah, we are. what we did is so we hired a tuk tuk driver that brings us to two tea plantations. Earlier this morning, we went to Damro yep. tea plantation, then he dropped us off here. And now we're going back towards Nuvara Elia uh, Center and on the way we make a stop at the Bluefield factory as well. Right. So this is an avocado tree. We had no idea. Amazing. Just out in the open. Next to the street. smells like roses. It's so nice. I took a little bit of a, a coconut biscuit kind on the side. And Moritz took actually the, how is it called? The golden tip? Golden tip. It's like one of the more expensive ones because they only use the tips. Yeah. And it's white tea, right? Yes. Yeah, you can really see it in there. They left it with the leaves and all. In his case, the tips. And in my case, yeah, all kinds of things. Looks super nice though. <laughs>
today, like we mentioned, we also went to some tea plantations. Um, we hired a tuk-tuk uh, for 3,500 for the day. Yep. And next to the waterfall that we mentioned, we also went to two tea plantations. The first one being Damro tea plantations. Which was actually super interesting. Yeah. We got a whole tour of the factory as well as the process and you're like really in there looking at uh, machinery. You see people working in there. You mm. see that you smell the tea leaves actually inside the, the factory which is super nice. And there they produce the, the black tea and was it the white tea? Yeah. Black Both and white tea. Yeah. They explained us the whole process, yeah. what the difference is between green, white and black tea. Also, we learned that the white tea is actually super expensive. And this uh, little tour that you're getting, which was really well done, is actually for free. Yeah. But of course, they always appreciate a small tip at the end. Of course, also yeah. because they're doing it in English and their English was really perfect. Yeah, 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 so yeah. they really take their time as well. Mm -hmm. It's not like just five minutes and you're, and you're out. They really take their time to explain. If you have questions, they answer them. Mm -hmm. Um, and after that, we went to a little cafe inside. Yeah, and where that you, one, yeah, was for free. Yeah, was also for free, yeah. where you get served uh, their black tea, yeah. uh, a cup or like even a can you get mm. for free there, which is next to the shop. Then, and we actually also bought a little bit of tea because yeah. it was super yummy and not expensive yeah. at all. We paid like three euros for, for at home, like in a, a nice big box for a nice like yeah. presentable box. But they don't push you at all no. because we. We were reading up on the different tea plantations and we really wanted one that we could enjoy and didn't feel pressured. Mm -hmm. And we read about others, not so nice reviews and... Yeah, uh, we wanted to, like somebody like to, who explains things uh, and doesn't just like throw us off there. Yeah. So, so in the end we had a really nice experience. Yes. We didn't have high hopes, but we yeah. got really pleasantly surprised. And uh, after the waterfall we went to the second one, which is called uh, Bluefield. Bluefields. Blue Blue, blue fields, blue, blue fields, fields plantation. Uh, yeah. Um, also very informative. We got like a little tour, which was a little bit smaller. Yeah, but, but still, but still very, very informative yeah. and interesting altogether. Uh, uh, it was a little bit more. How do you say? Old school, I wouldn't say, but uh, it, you could see that there's a different yeah. vibe with them with the Damro one. Yeah, the machinery looked like a little bit older. Yeah. Um, I think oh yeah, the Damro was the second oldest. Yeah. And that one was, I think, from 19 something. It was uh, staying at them in Indeed. front. Um, still very nice as well. You can see all the different kinds of teas they have there. They show mm. it, they explain which kind of flavors there yeah. are. They only produce black tea though. Black tea. Uh, there's a big difference. And as well, at the end, you can enjoy a cup of tea with some sweets. But overall, we had really nice experience on both of them. Uh, our driver also really took his time. He brought us to two viewpoints mm -hmm. to really see the, the tea fields. He even went with us somewhere where we can walk through the tea fields, which was super nice. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like that much was one stop um, that you could really see that the, the women were keeping themselves ready, like the, the tea pickers. Uh, on the fields uh, yeah, itself. Yeah, the tea picker ladies, uh, until like tourists come up and they joined us then on the on the fields hoping to take a picture with them for yeah. which he has money. I didn't like that little part so much. Uh, we also ignored it. But all in all, it was like a super nice day. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and after that, we actually also had some time over. So we decided to take a little hike inside mm -hmm. Nuarelia. And we went to the single tree uh, hill, like the, the view platform, or like yeah. let's say the view, uh, because there's not really a platform. Uh, <laughs> It's a super serene and like a little bit remote uh, road that you take up yep. through tea plantations. So everywhere like tea mm. bushes. And we didn't encounter many people there. Not a lot of, of drivers, no. like a few tuk-tuks. Um, it was super peaceful. Calm. And uh, we just strolled up there and at the very top you have like a big rock where we just sat and had like a little bit of a, of a snack. Snacks. It was and super we're nice. The view. Yeah. Because so. from there you can really see the colonial style buildings very well. Mm -hmm. um, if you look over New Aurelia. Now we're looking forward to Ella. Yes, the train ride. Yeah, so we actually already yesterday did the first part. So uh, that's what a lot of people do. They make maybe a stop between the famous uh, train ride from Candy to Ella. They make a stop in Uvara Ilia. A lot of people with kids do that because the, the one way is like a seven hours, which is quite long. So they make the stop. So the first part was yesterday. Um, I think we expected quite a lot of it. Uh, it is touristy, so uh, definitely if you have the reserved seats, mm -hmm. it's full on tourist and everybody wants to take those, you know, those famous pictures hanging out of the wagons. 
Uh, we had a bit bad luck. Our wagon, the doors didn't open, so that was shitty. Uh, and with our window. Yeah. Like, the, uh, the, we didn't have a full window, so it was hard to take a picture. We had to like ask some people mm -hmm. to move and then we're trying to get one uh, just to try it, to give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, but it's not really necessary, you think. Like, you no. can also just, just enjoy the surroundings. We found that the best seas are actually on the right uh, moving. Yeah. Right yeah. Here, because you will see most of the, of the mountainous area then. Mm. Yeah, and actually the whole experience, so we went quite up front to the, the platform, but as we read as expected, the train was like half, <laughs> half an hour late, I guess. Oh, even, like even more yeah. than that, <laughs> and we were like always worried, of course, um, that we should be there on time and everything, mm. but it takes it took a while for us at it's least. It's a German thing, being <laughs> wanting to be on time. <laughs> I know, for a train ride you want to be on time. but. Uh, we heard that it can get quite chaotic, certainly for people that didn't reserve seats because then you really have to fight to get on your unreserved wagon. But all in all, the, the platform looked quite okay, right? The platform looked okay. Yeah. Just in the wagon behind us, we could see that people were really like standing next yeah, to each like other like in a bus. Yeah, like little Sardinians in so, a little box a bit. So. Yeah, so that's an awesome experience. We talked yeah. to a couple, they said it was quite the experience, but uh, we avoided like standing for four hours. So. Yeah. So overall we had a, a chill ride, some nice views yeah. along the way because after a while it changes from some tropical palm trees to more like the lush greenery that you have here with all the tea plantation bushes and it, uh, the view is just super nice. Yeah, uh, so totally. Yeah, it's a must see I guess on your Sri Lanka itinerary. So for a little bit more information on Nuwara Ilia, um, the weather here is it's set among the coldest in Sri Lanka, yeah. if not the coldest, mm. uh, which I find super pleasant. It's around 20 <laughs> degrees here. At the moment we have clouds, so it's really, really, really like, comfortable to walk around. Mm. Um, yeah, for me, I'm always a little cold, so I've been walking around with a little sweatshirt, uh, in the evening definitely also with longer pants. So yeah, usually you're traveling maybe from a Western country, from Europe where it's colder, so you have those things with you. Uh, you'll need it here. A yeah, you can, more you can also warm. really tell uh, just by also <coughs> the amount we saw of trees. There's like less palm trees and coconut trees here. And we see much more of needle trees and like more, let's say, the one, the, the, the forest that we are like more familiar with. Mm -hmm. So less tropical yeah. here up in the, in the highlands. Actually our house, they mentioned that uh, the beginning of the month, so we're March, uh, they even had a little bit of snowfall. So I was really surprised to hear that. Yeah. So yeah, pack some leggings, jogging, whatever, and you'll be fine. Uh, here also, uh, most of the states don't have airco or yeah. fan. You get even provided with a thicker blanket. Indeed. And I think it was the, the daughter from the, from the place, from the, from the host where we stay, uh, she said that it was like three degrees was the coldest mm. that they had here this year or last year yeah, it was at, at night though. So. Yeah, so just keep that in mind, maybe pack a sweater. Some practical info for you. Yeah. <laughs>